Hi there, I've decided to call this video, oh I'm Black Bright and welcome and thank you for following me, that kind of stuff, continue to subscribe and share and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, the reason I decided to do this quick video is because I was reading The Independent. I know it's not the greatest newspaper in the world, but um, it was talking about um, a gentleman, his name was Dr. Creel, K-R-E-I-L. And he came in with his Norwegian fiance through Heathrow Airport and their child. Now the the um, fiance, fiance, her name was also sounding foreign. And why am I saying that these UK border force are just like robots? They see two foreign names. They see them coming in on an American passport and they're coming in with a baby. They automatically believe they're foreigners, stop them from coming in, refuse them entry, telling them they've got to have a um, a visitor's visa for six months, they've got no access to public funds, and it just shows their ignorance. Apparently they told them that because the child isn't born in the country, it doesn't mean that, because the child was born in the country, it doesn't mean that they're a citizen. So that is making the assumption that they thought that because they had foreign names, that they weren't citizens. Well, they're not citizens, but they're British residents. They had indefinite leave to remain. So you can imagine, these two people, and I mean, they're kicking up a stink. So you can imagine if these people, um, they're, they're Caucasian, just so happens they've got foreign names. So it does appear that if you've got a foreign name, your colour, your race, all determines whether or not you're allowed entry into the UK or how they treat you. I mean, he was appalled, he said, and he said he couldn't imagine how immigrants um, are being treated, especially since he works for the BBC and he works for Parliament. And you know, you would have thought those kind of inf that kind of information would have been on his on his um, not his biometric because he's a resident, but they would have found it somewhere. But oh no, they jump up, they found a foreigner. Look, look at his name, and they decide to be treat him like a foreigner. You know, these they they need training. UK, and that's why that's a problem with the UK border force is the problem with the police. They need training. They haven't got a clue. They go on visuals. They go on names, and you can't do that. There's too many people born in the country with non-English names. They should know that by now. And just because of that doesn't mean they're not British. But it just shows you the prejudice and the bias that exists in some of these people especially on UK border force and how they try to implement it. Anyway, I don't know what's going to go on. They're telling him that he need, that the Home Office needs to give a um, an apology. Um, the guy, the doctor and his wife, well, his doctor and his fiance are saying, you know, they don't, this isn't the kind of country they want to stay in. But, you know, they really need to be discerning. They really need to get clued up. And before they jump to conclusions, that's what they've got equipment for. That's what they've got this massive criminal database for. This database that tells them everything about anybody. And it's supposed to be linked to the airport. It's supposed to be linked to everybody. So do you mean to say they can't link it to the bloody airport and know who people are and know whether or not they're British? If not, what is the point? Anyway, just a quick rant. That's all I've got to say. But it's, it's reassuring to know it's just not blacks that are being penalised at the airport. That's all I have to say, guys. Ciao for now.